Well, this happened yesterday in L.A. at a video game company and last week at Google. Employees walking out because their employers are not taking a stand on a big issue. In the case of Riot Games, that's the company in L.A., it was over the company's stand on sexual harassment. Google employees say they were facing retaliation over a protest from last year. And that's why they walked out again. The analysts say social media, the remote workplace, changing societal norms have really now blurred the lines between workplace and private lives. It's not just the millennials. It's, you know, baby boomers all the way down into the Generation Z's. Uh, They are uh, very interested in the political environment. That gentleman's name is Bobby Elbert, and he has spent 40 years consulting and writing about business. He is the author of True North, and he says that while political and private lives are merging with our professional lives, companies have to be careful, he says, that the mission and the vision does not get lost. But the question for leaders to uh, to examine when they are under that situation by the request of their employees, does this help us match up with the purpose of this organization and the mission. Uh, Because uh, most cases, it it, uh, does not match up when they're asked to take political positions. And that is the reason why, historically, historically, most businesses have never stepped on the landmine of getting in the political arena. Now, historically, that may be true, but more CEOs now are willing to take a political stand, which has given their employees the permission uh, to do so as well. And Albert says, really, companies where there's a conflict between employees and leaders on those political issues, it usually signals an overall communications issue. For employees, even the leaders, all the way down to the front line, what people do on their own time, that's up to them. What that tells me is some somewhere down the line, the leadership of those organizations stop communicating what are our core values, uh, what is, you know, like who we are, our purpose, why we exist, what the vision, where are we going, and our mission, what do we want to accomplish every day? And I can assure you most organizations, their mission is to is to delight the customer and increase offering profits. And getting into the political arena does not seem to match up with that. But politics in just about every corner of our life. Now, I know right? it.